Ever pondered on how important your gums are to our overall health? Well, let's embark on a journey to understand gum health and why it's so crucial. Our gums, or gingiva, are part of our mouth's soft tissue lining. They snugly hug our teeth, providing a barrier that helps protect against the onslaught of bacteria. But they do so much more than that. They anchor our teeth in place, acting as a steadfast supporter in our daily chomping and chewing. Just imagine trying to eat an apple without the firm grip of your gums holding your teeth in place. Sounds tricky, right? That's why our gums are so essential. They not only make eating easier, but also contribute to our oral health by preventing bacteria from reaching the roots of our teeth and causing damage. Now, you might be thinking, okay, so gums are important for eating and oral health. But what about overall health? Well, let me tell you, the health of your gums is deeply intertwined with your overall well-being. In fact, poor gum health can lead to serious health issues beyond your mouth. Research has shown a connection between gum disease and heart disease, diabetes, and even certain types of cancer. In other words, taking care of your gums could mean taking care of your whole body. So, how does one maintain healthy gums? It's all about good oral hygiene. Brushing twice a day, flossing regularly, avoiding tobacco, and limiting sugary foods and drinks are some of the key steps towards keeping your gums healthy. And of course, regular dental checkups are a must. In essence, your gums are like the unsung heroes of your mouth, tirelessly working to keep your teeth secure and your body healthy. They might not often be the star of the show when we think about our health, but their role is certainly not to be underestimated. Now that we have a basic understanding of what gums are and their importance, let's delve into the signs of unhealthy gums. So how do you know if your gums are unhealthy? This is an important question to ask because gum health is a key part of overall oral hygiene. So let's dive in and explore some signs and symptoms of unhealthy gums. Firstly, you might notice bleeding gums, especially during brushing or flossing. If you see pink in the sink, it's time to think. Healthy gums should not bleed easily, so if yours do, it could be a sign of inflammation or gum disease. Swelling is another common sign. Unhealthy gums may appear puffy or swollen, and this can often be accompanied by discomfort or even pain. This swelling is typically a response to bacterial buildup, also known as plaque, on your teeth at the gum line. Changes in color are also a key indicator. Healthy gums generally have a pink, coral-like color. If your gums start to look red or even purplish, it's a clear sign something's not right. Now, while those are the most common signs, there are also some less common but equally important indicators of unhealthy gums. Persistent bad breath or a bad taste in your mouth, for instance, can be a sign of gum disease. Also, you might notice changes in how your teeth fit together when you bite, or even loose teeth. These can signify advanced gum disease, where the supporting bone structure gets damaged. What's more, gums that recede or pull away from your teeth, making your teeth look longer, are a sure sign of an issue. This can lead to pockets or gaps forming between your teeth and gums, where harmful bacteria can grow. If you observe any of these signs, it's crucial to seek dental advice. Remember, early detection can prevent further damage and even reverse the condition in some cases. And while these signs might seem scary, understanding them is key. It empowers you to take proactive steps towards better oral health. Recognizing these signs is the first step towards maintaining healthy gums. But what causes these symptoms? Well, stay tuned as we unravel the causes of gum disease in our next chapter. What might be the reasons behind these signs of unhealthy gums, you may ask? Well, there are several causes of gum disease, and we're going to delve into them right now. First, let's talk about poor oral hygiene. This is the most common cause of gum disease. If you're not brushing your teeth at least twice a day and flossing regularly, you're setting yourself up for trouble. Bacteria in your mouth form a sticky substance called plaque on your teeth. If this plaque isn't removed, it hardens into tartar, which can only be removed by a dentist or dental hygienist. This tartar can cause irritation and inflammation of the gums, leading to gingivitis, the first stage of gum disease. Next, we have smoking. Smoking is not only bad for your lungs, it's terrible for your gums too. 
Smoking interferes with the normal function of gum tissue cells, making your mouth more susceptible to infections like gum disease. Plus, smoking can make treatments for gum disease less effective. Certain health conditions can also contribute to gum disease. For instance, diabetes affects your body's ability to use blood sugar, and high blood sugar can cause gum infection. Other conditions that can impact gum health include HIV, cancer, and hormonal changes in women. Let's not forget about genetics. Yes, you heard it right. If your parents or grandparents had gum disease, you might be more prone to it. Lastly, certain medications can cause dry mouth, which can lead to gum disease. Saliva plays a crucial role in cleaning our mouths and controlling bacteria. When there's not enough saliva, bacteria can thrive, leading to gum disease. Bear in mind, these causes are not independent of each other, and often a combination of factors leads to gum disease. It's a complex issue, and we're all at risk, but knowledge is our first defense. Understanding these causes helps us prevent gum disease. But how do we do that? Well, that's a fantastic question and we're about to get into that. So, stay tuned for the next chapter. How can you keep your gums healthy and prevent gum disease? It's a question that might have crossed your mind, and the answer is surprisingly straightforward. The key lies in adopting a few good oral hygiene practices, regular dental checkups, and a healthy diet. Let's start with oral hygiene. It's crucial to brush your teeth at least twice a day, and don't forget to include your tongue in the routine. Brushing alone isn't enough, though. Flossing daily helps to remove plaque and food particles that your toothbrush can't reach. If you're not a fan of traditional flossing, consider using an interdental brush or water flosser. Next, let's talk about mouthwash. It's not just for fresh breath. Therapeutic mouthwashes contain ingredients that strengthen teeth and help treat certain oral health conditions. So, rinse with a mouthwash daily, but make sure it's a therapeutic one and not just a cosmetic mouthwash. Now, on to regular dental checkups. It's recommended to visit your dentist at least twice a year. Regular checkups allow your dentist to detect early signs of gum disease and take action before it becomes severe. Remember, early detection is the key to successful treatment. And then, there's your diet. Consuming a balanced diet rich in vitamins and minerals, particularly vitamin C and calcium, can help keep your gums healthy. Foods like oranges, strawberries and leafy greens are excellent sources of vitamin C, while dairy products, tofu and almonds are rich in calcium. Let's not forget about the role of smoking in gum disease. Smoking weakens your immune system, making it harder to fight off a gum infection. Plus, smokers are more likely to have tartar buildup, which can lead to gum disease. So, if you're a smoker, quitting is one of the best things you can do for your gums. By following these tips, you can keep your gums healthy and prevent gum disease. But what if you already have gum disease? What if you already have gum disease? What can you do? If you've been diagnosed with gum disease, don't worry. There are several treatment options available, and they often depend on the stage of your gum disease. In the early stages, known as gingivitis, the disease is still reversible. The primary treatment involves a professional dental cleaning, followed by daily brushing and flossing. Your dentist or dental hygienist will remove plaque and tartar from above and below your gum line, where your toothbrush can't reach. This is known as scaling and root planing. It's a bit like getting your teeth deep cleaned. Now, if your gum disease has progressed to a more severe stage, known as periodontitis, treatment becomes a bit more complex. In addition to the deep cleaning, your dentist may recommend medications such as prescription antimicrobial mouthwash, antibiotic gels, or oral antibiotics. In some cases, surgical treatments may be necessary, this could include flap surgery, where the gums are lifted back to remove tartar, or bone and tissue grafts to replace or encourage new growth of bone or gum tissue, destroyed by periodontitis. Remember the goal of treatment is to control the infection. Any type of treatment requires that you maintain good daily care at home. Brushing twice a day, flossing once a day, eating a balanced diet, and scheduling regular dental visits can help keep your gums healthy, and prevent further progression of the disease. It's also worth noting that your dentist plays a pivotal role in treating gum disease. They can provide expert advice, perform necessary procedures, and monitor your progress. So, 
Don't hesitate to reach out and keep them in the loop about your gum health. Remember, it's never too late to start taking care of your gums. Your oral health is a vital part of your overall health, so make it a priority. It might seem like a lot of work, but your gums are worth it. After all, a healthy mouth is a happy mouth.